Let's disarm you. Hmm. Our work here is... A plague. Of you are docked at. Shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already... We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize. It'd still take time to build. Inclined that way myself. With either path, though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. A Seely's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our micro... Not the sort of things any labs just... But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy. All paths lead to Londinian. Exactly what I was hoping. Now, the UC has a small operate. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep. But once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian, it belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand.
I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team, then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply... Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an... eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum. I no need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's with good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. Do we understand each other? Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations, then. You can find your... And I do believe this. Now, once you're out... Though, I can't guarantee it won't... Con I hope you all find what you're looking... Robot, you're coming with... Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their con... Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell... Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the... All right. Head over to the armory and... Our description. The Vanguard captain? The cap. Make sure you had the best tools. Word of advice while you're out there don't trust the poison tone. Transfers complete. All set on your gear? You... Then, let's get this show on the road. Kaiser? Percival, everything green on your end? Personal comm should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock code transmitted. You may open the gate when ready. All right. On our way into the city.
No sign of the morph, though. Your shipping yard is just beyond the processing plant. Cash with some goodies is towards the rear of the facility. Kaiser, we close enough for you to dial in the location of those samples from here? Yes, they're faint. But I'm detecting multiple valid signatures. I have restored power to the containers. Jackpot! Get down there and collect as many as you can. those over to Kaiser and let's get out of here. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus plant, isn't it? Confirmed. 
You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. A real marvel. All these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? What's that? My god. Look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only. What's... What's happening? Captain, have you seen this? are terramorphs. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing. That heat leech became a... Heat leeches hide out in ships. We... we... Pretty Major is right. But if what we just saw... The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph. A heat leech transformation process. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger you could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like new atlantis good god the attack on but first you'd have to know the truth about all well we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing get after it we may proceed understand what it... exactly someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks makes some sense actually Tau Seti was likely their first test someplace remote where no one would question ensure the big show the attack on New Atlantis would be a success and the timing of that one it couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when these attacks I they certainly were but having this answer who could pull something makes two of us let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universes if we're gonna do anything to prevent more Roger that Kaiser get us into the spaceport the entrance is this way. I am unable to provide sufficient power to the lock mechanism. Anyone got ideas where we could get some extra juice? Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. Roger that. I have restored power to the office entrance. You may proceed. Oh, there's the control panel. Still a soft level. Of all the things. Reboot engaged. Running diagnostic. Diagnostic complete. Multiple systems unavailable. Warning. Priority safety concern detected. Exterior hatch power restored. Back in business. Warning. Emergency recorder message detected. Transcription process engaged. Playback initiated. Admiral Sanon, we need to make the evacuation request. 
you'd have the guts to look those soldiers in the eye before blowing this place to pieces. Admiral! The Tesla transformed an invisible weapon. No planet will be safe. Colonel, the troops that closed off the sewers after my evaluation, they're all in this facility. Other than our casualties? Yes, sir. Good. Get them into defensive positions around the spaceport. No one leaves. I'll send ships as soon as possible. Thank God. None of us wanted to go down swarmed by those things. That won't be your fate, Colonel. You have my word. Transcription complete. Physical copy available. That invisible weapon. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Grab that recording. We... We should talk. Evictus. He destroyed this place. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon. He killed those people. Condemned this city to keep them from... Yes. Exactly what we all thought. But I guess... I guess that's just another part of... Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus...
you. We freed them. And they're helping us. It's working. I've still got more capacity. Get to the next dish. One more dish, and I should be able to shut it down completely. They're not coming after us. I guess... I guess we should grab that sample while we can. that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. Pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it's something. Ah, best place for him. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that. <laughs> That's putting it. But it's clear, Captain. But in the interim, do you think you could look into what we uncovered? If it were me, I started the scene of the crime. Thank you, Captain. Once you finish your invest, they're gonna want to hear this. Take care of yourself. Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter. 
Walker's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. You're being honored only because I arranged the situations where it could happen. Be grateful. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. That is a pity, Captain. But I'm in no position to negotiate. Though we needn't be enemies, you and I. Just think about the opportunity I've provided here. There are more on the horizon. If you do the right thing. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The micro... Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our world. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of. I already sent along info to the cab. So what about your end? Did you find any? Any leads on who might have... Orlais? Reginald Or... That's some impressive work. So then give us the rundown. Where's Orlais now? Huh, I see. Wish we could have quite... Any idea why he might have done it? I can't imagine the amount of work. Well, the man knew how to hold a grudge. I wouldn't be shocked if this was him getting back at you. Hmm. Well, at least he won't be able to hurt anybody else now. Might be. So I guess there's nothing else to do but get this all. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through. Then here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we... But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems that... Is what I'm reading here true? My God. An attack? 
using terror? You will all receive a full... So then is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald or Lacey... They Victus? My father... He did what? That... that... that's impossible. Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering, friend, you have evidence to back this up. It just transformed a terror out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. I is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine. I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vay Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. I'm inclined to agree, Captain. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here. The Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Tell the Freestar Collective. Wow. So they have another... I'm in agreement. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture. To further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So... You want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asilis are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? I, uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry. I'm just now learning about my father being alive. I'm sorry, Major, though I hope you understand why this had to be kept in the strictest confidence. Would you like a moment? I, I'll be fine. We've been having similar debates ourselves. 
It's only... It's only the Captain who has yet to share. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I'm in full agreement. No need to be delving into unpredictable sciences. And Major Sanan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? The Captain is normally a trustworthy source. And, uh, in this case, continues to be. He speaks for us all, ma'am. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a Class One citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. No need to thank me. You brought this on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class One benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Suppose that's true. Well, we can remedy that right now. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Report says ships at these coordinates fired on United Colonies craft. You're clear to use lethal force if necessary. Attackers were ecliptic affiliated, so I'd bust out the big guns. Fly smart out there. Well, well, it is the United Colonies' newest Cylon citizen. You can find names on the Atlantis. In fact, the Hydro Club Bank regretted his service by giving him one of the nicest seats in the city. It's a clean penthouse at the top of the tower. Vessel agent in the Atlantis, in my opinion. What do you say? Yes, yes, I get registered as senior. Great, you're here for a real treat. It's one of my favorite parts of the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new one's located in Merchant Tower, you're the You'll love the place. It's a gorgeous plan and unbeatable view of the city. Now, your honor, I'm sure I'll see you around now.
I am not a stock boy. Oh, please, don't. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an... But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself. And for you to learn... I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together. My contact is John Tuala. He sent word. His name is Moara. Back in Zoom. Ah, I cherish these visitors with long and magic not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. I believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. And he's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money... I've got problems. What do you say? No, oh, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrived from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. Come on. Life on Sidonia. Don't try to guilt. I'm just trying to keep. Yeah. I'll get your point. Maybe. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Get a lot of new faces passing through. Off when you are, Captain. 